So g'day, how you going? My name is Glenn. Today we're looking at some Japanese coins from the Second World War. And I'm making this video before they get banned for some war crime. So, anyway, what we are looking at is... Ah, we're looking at weights of these coins. You can... So these coins were issued between 1940 and 1943. And... If you go to Numista, so we'll start off with the one sen. So the Japanese coin, so here's the current one yen coin. So one yen equals a hundred sen. Now what's the denomination? And one sen was divided into ten ren. But they really didn't use that after the in the nineteen twenties. Okay. So uh, these coins do have Differences in weights for these denominations. So uh, we got so the regal year 1941.243, uh, 16, 17, 18, because I don't date Japan, doesn't date their coins on Western numerology, just they date it on um, the reign of the monarch, and these are all Showa coins. So here we have 10 yen. So we've got Showa, uh, 39, and Heisei, 2. Current reigning monarchs, Reiwa. And I don't have any of these. Actually, I do, but I don't have them out. Only 500 yen. So, okay. So we have basically... I'm just looking at it at the moment. So 1943, we've got two different weights. Uh, and that is 18, so I should have 18. So this is 17. So if we turn the scales on, hopefully you can see that. What does that weigh? That way, oh, the camera's in the way. 0. 0.7. So obviously, roughly about 0. 0.65. So that's a correct weight for that one. Then we have the second coin and it has Mount Fuji with the chrysanthemum on the top. Okay, 17, here should be 0.6, 0 0.7, this seems right. And as you can see, these are corroded, so the middle is probably uh, could be flaking off. So 16, so that is 1941, so that should be uh, 0.65. Yeah, six, seven. As you can see, this one's pretty corroded, and that one is dated 17. So, that's not, do I have any 18? Okay, 16 again. So, when you're reading these, you need to read it from right to left. So, that's, that means year. I know Cantonese, Lin. It's up lock. I, I, yeah, I can't read these in Japanese because I don't know Japanese. So, with a Chinese writing system, you can actually, um, that is the yeah, 0.6, a little bit damaged. Number 16. So I have no 18 to compare the two actual dates. So that is yeah, 0.6 as well. So the, the weights do vary, which is pretty much what any coin is. There's no coins that are, are exact weight. It's the, they have a standard, so a, they put all the coins together and they get the mean, which uh, they take the weight from. So here we have a, okay, 16. So 16, we have two different, Okay, so this is a 5 yen, and this one has a bird on it, which is a golden kite, which is Japanese military prowess. Okay, so we've got two different weights for 1916, we've got 1.2, 1 gram, okay, that's 1941, 1940, which is dated 15, 1.2 grams. 1942 is 1 gram, 1943 which is 8 
squiggly 18.8 grams. So, chuck that on there. So it's 1.1, yeah, 1.2 grams. So this is the heavier version. And the two weight systems we have for 941, we have a combined mintage of a 478 million. So we don't know how many of each weight standard was actually produced. Okay. Real year 17. Obviously a little bit corroded, might have lost some metal. Uh, 942 should be one gram. Yeah, still one gram. Okay, then we have this one here. Yeah, 42 again. And that one is one gram again. And if we look at the sides, it should be, we could see it to the same diameter. The width of the coin should be different. So this one, this coin we have here, that's thicker than these two because they put taken 0.2 of a gram out of these two coins. And so this is 1.2 and this is just one gram. So that's the only another way you can actually tell uh, if these coins are thick or thin. Okay, so here we have 10 yen coins. So it looks like chrysanthemum, or maybe, no, there's a chrysanthemum. It's got 10 cent on the bottom top. I said 10 yen, didn't I? Okay. Okay, so what we have here is we have various weights of these coins. I'm just trying to get the Numister page up. So all these are in 1940, 47. Okay, so... 1940, regular year 15, one and a half grams, 41, we've got one and a half, and 1.2 grams, and 43, we have 1.2, 1 1.3 grams, no, 1.2, 1943, which is regular year 18, we've got uh, 1.2 and one gram. So, so, if we look at the side of the coins, we have thick coins, thin, thick, thin, thick. So, if we take the actual thick coins out, so it's that one, that one, and that one. This one should be the coins of one way, uh, that should be uh, one and a half grams. So, we've got 15, so this should be 940 coin, and it should weigh, oops. Yeah, just turn off whenever you feel like it, mate. Okay. Yeah, one and a half grams. Then we have another one, 16. So this is either one and a half or 1.2. Okay, so that's the lighter version. Another coin, another 16, so that's one and a half. So we have two 941s. So the top one is 1.2, this one is 1.5, and, and we check the thickness. Yes, you can see that they've changed the diameter of the coin. So that's how uh, you can check the weights. Okay, let's check the rest of them. Here we have 16. Obviously, this is post-mint damage, probably caused by reaction in the environment. Okay, 1.2. Lighter coin, so all these should be lighter. Okay, 17, and yeah, it should be 942, 1.2 grams. Yep, then we have 17 as well, 1.2, and the last one we have is another 17. So I don't have any from 1943, which is Regal Year 18. It will be good to see uh, how the reduction in the diameter of the coin, um, not diameter, the thickness of the coin, shall I say, as they reduce it from 1.2 to 1 gram. So, anyway, I hope this helps you with your coin collecting. So, yeah, quite a simple concept. Just weigh your coin and see the thickness of the actual planchet. So this is called a 
planchet, flan, whichever way you want to call it. Different collectors of different types of coins call them different things. And all together, uh, they weigh no, uh, yeah, 89 grams. 8.9 grams. Not 89 grams. So, oh, I'm a bit tired. I'm going to bed. Thank you and goodbye.